Hey yo guys, what's going on? It's Sherrick here and we are back with another episode of Chroma Squad. In the last episode, we beat up on some zombie construction workers. It was a, a pretty awesome time. And uh, so we'll get right into it here. I did a little bit of housekeeping. We'll talk about it in just a second. Um, let's see, let's go with, uh, let's go and start with our marketing. So as you can see that our fan power bar is empty because we have enough fan power to be able to use all of these perks. So I went, went ahead and activated them all. Um, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the crafting menu because I wanted to show you guys that you can do blueprints for weapons. Um, and I noticed that, um, no, actually let me just point this out real quick. I thought this is really interesting. In order to get shards of glass, you need glitter. So with enough glitter, you can essentially make glass. That kind of puts the, the, the supposed the uselessness of glitter into perspective, as it pertains to this game, at least. So um, I noticed that I have enough to do either the sharp clay dagger for our, uh, our scout class or our composite bow for our assist class. And so I'm sitting here going back and forth uh, the cooldown cost for the composite bow is higher and the weapon damage is lower. Um, so let's actually, let me look and see if my, um, if my scout class has anything, uh, equipped. Let's see, she does not. Okay. Um, but she could use the sword. So that's an option right now. Actually, I think he's using a large sword. Um, do I have another one? I must have a spare. I don't know. Um, let me let's, let's find out. Let's see here. Clip. Okay. So that means he uses the toy sword. Okay, I see. So never mind. That's... I'll have to figure out how to put that there. Doesn't matter. I'll work on that later. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Just worry about that later. Okay, so I think that I'm... I, I think I'm gonna do the, the uh, composite bow for our our assist class. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, because I need more long range stuff going for... Because right now we've only got Jace as our long range specialist, so that way she'll be able to reach some of the further away enemies. And we're gonna need to have that. Um, and I think I'll just, yeah, I got enough for the clay gun. Um, I think I swore I had another pistol somewhere or whatever. Doesn't matter, I'll work on that later. So for now, what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got everything that I want here. I could get some night helmets because we've got some cash going. Um, or I could look into the studio. And let's do that. Let's, let's activate the, the workbench. And we'll activate the vacuum cleaner. What else is here? And we'll do the shop partnership. Okay, that's what we'll do. Instead of worrying about so much that stuff, so we've got all these extra things that are added in, including this random chicken mascot. And with that said, let's get into an episode. I think I'm gonna do real evil because I wanna get Dr. Soap out of my face right now. He's sent uh, a lawyer looks suspiciously like this uh to to come and mess with us again so we're gonna we're gonna look at our instructions pretty simple and we're just gonna get right into it there we go listen up everyone apparently dr soap wasn't bluffing he did go to court how rude i agree it is rude whoops he doesn't know anything about our show and just wants easy money. Not wrong. It might be a good idea to record it, so I'm bringing cameras. Like a documentary or something. We must see the judge in a few moments, or we might want to get going. Based on the distance, we can just walk there. Are you sure? Right on, let's move. I don't know about you guys, but I always misjudge the distance to someplace. I'm like, ah, I can walk, and then like 10 minutes into it, I'm lying on the concrete. Sad and alone. Anyway, um... See, this walk took longer than I expected, so I got my calculations wrong. Called it. Too bad you had to sell your car, Jace. Wah, wah. Let's just make a run for it. The building's right over there. Whoop. 
Hello, fellows. Wait a second. Hmm, interesting. Who are you? Oh, I have so many names. We don't know a single one. Call me J. Milton. I'm not sure if that's a reference to anything. Let me know. I don't, I'm not sure. Behold, as I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. Sounds like a Bray Wyatt promo. promo. Wait, what? Who are the wolves? Me and some of my friends. Yeah, definitely a Bray Wyatt promo. Check out these dudes. Check out these minions. Popping up out of the sewers and stuff. Sup? Hey, uh. This is crazy. We're in the middle of the street. Do you work for Dr. Soap? We share a common employer, actually. Think of this as a special episode for both our shows. Hehehe. <laughs> Glad I brought cameras then. This looks way more fun than court. Sure does. Whoa, who's this random dude? You are such a bully, Jay Milton, just like Dr. Soap. I've been looking into this for far too long. Stop bullying people because you can't do anything good by yourself. Let them do their great things. We're not letting our dreams just be dreams. Whoa, I'm not so sure who you are, but I definitely liked you. Liked? So we meet again, Awakened Dragon. The Champion of Justice is back, and I've trained much more than ever before. Vanity, definitely my favorite sin. This bullying needs to be stopped right now. Right meow. Awakened Dragon? What a cool guy! J. Milton, prepare yourself! Let's do it. So we gotta, this is one of the special episodes where we get an extra team member. So we'll defeat the boss monster with a finishing move and defeat three enemies in the same turn. We can chromatize immediately. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Not gonna do it yet though. I'm gonna move my scout all the way up here and teamwork like I usually do. And we'll get a little extra with a flip and kick. Get wrecked. And now I think, I think I'm going to put this guy here. Nope, let's switch to Amy. Yeah, she can reach him, okay. Put her over here and teamwork. Put him over here, teamwork. Add some acrobatics into it. Double attack. Yes, didn't miss. Awesome. And now I'll move Wake and Dragon over to this so we can get those three done in the same turn. Awesome. Counter? Nice. Ooh, punching the Wake and Dragon in the face. Nice counter. Nice dodge. Not today, sorry. Rude! Double rude. Yeah, counter. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to leave Sam by her lonesome, so let's back back and get him out of our face. Um, this is TJ here, so I think he can finish that one off by himself. Yep, he can. Um, over here. And can't do anything. Two more for now. Um... This guy off. Ooh, okay. Nice counter, but okay. Now I'm gonna have to chromatize. So let's go. Lights, camera, chromatize! Let's do it! Nice! Got some paint. And I'm gonna save that square house kit for now. Beat up on this thing. How do you like that? Oh, we can finish him already? Dang. Alright. Good to know. Let's... Dragon? No, we can't. Let's bring him closer. Just out of range of that Fist of Justice. Let's put him here. There we 
have the bow, but I'll save it. I think I'm gonna... Ooh, okay. Alright. So here I have to grab a... I'm gonna grab Awakened Dragon first, because I think... Let me check. Can Jace reach? No, he can't. Okay, good. But I noticed that. So I'm gonna bring Awakened Dragon in teamwork. And then I'll bring Jace over here. And let's see if we can get Sam in range too. Yes, we can. Thanks to Awakened Dragon. Teamwork. She's right in place. Teamwork. Teamwork. And I think that's gonna do it with our finishing move. Yep, Chroma Blast. Let's get it. Put those mims in the air. It's not like I said put my yams in the air. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I meant to say hands, obviously, but put them yams in the air! Now you have to face me in my true form. I remember this being more difficult before. Maybe I was thinking back to the Transit Mancer fight. I don't know. So it's true, the devil has many faces. And he's gone. You need to take, the, take care of this by yourselves, Chroma Squad. Now I must leave to my Japanese class. I can't let my students wait. Is he teaching language? Or is he teaching like some sort of Japanese martial art? I, I, whatever. Thank you, Awakened Dragon. Good luck, Chroma Squad. And then he just runs away. Peace out, dude. Now it's time for our Chroma Mecha Zord. Mecha Power Activate! Yay, yay! Put it together. Let's get into the fight. You guys know how this goes. Let's get right into it. You know by now. Keep punches on Jay Milton until we miss. We're doing pretty well. Nice. And we're gonna get a whole new attack set. So when you when you deplete one of their bars completely, then you basically get to start over on your attack cycle. So you basically get a free turn. Now he's gonna attack here. Ooh, well. Nice. So I think maybe in the next episode or two I might see what I can do about upping the, uh, the defense of our Kuma Mechazord because these fights towards the beginning are pretty easy, but um, as you notice, oh, he healed himself. I didn't know how he could do that. I was all prepped for for attacks to come, but uh, these, like, I, like I was saying, these fights in the beginning uh, start off pretty simple, but later on, as you get into further ep episodes, these guys can really do some serious damage, and uh, I don't want to see what happens when we start losing, so I'm just going to focus on that, but if you notice, we are almost to the point where we can use our, so, I mean, minimum damage taken there, very nice. Uh, almost the point where we can use our beam sword. Get it? Nice. Okay. One. Two. Three. Beam sword it up! Get wrecked. Peace out, dude. Let the explosions commence. And that's a wrap. Check out the awesome stuff we got. We also got some gouache paint. I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever. I'm sorry. Uh, don't hurt me. Okay, some duct tape, some cotton, some Play-Doh. Awesome, awesome. Check the audience conversion. Chromos got figurines. What? Where's my cut of that? Whatever. Go, go, Mighty Ink. New fans, new money. Game's been saved. Awesome, awesome. Let's check our mail like we do before we leave. Let's see, not spam, please consider reading. Ah, oh, that's Gaga. Okay, hello, lovely superheroes. Let me introduce myself. My name is Fred, and I work at a company called TV Nuhan, but you can call me Gaga. I will get better. Hmm. I would like to offer you our services in audience boosting for your squadron-esque TV show. We are efficient professionals and we have competitive prices, but since I'm a huge fan of your show, I will let you test my services during your next season for free. Please let me know. I'm really interested in your work for real. 
put the uh, Japanese emoji face. XO, XO. Um, so we don't really have a choice. We either say what for free, sure, or doubting whether fake or not accepted. Um, I'm gonna say doubting whether fake or not accepted. Reply received. Great. Within the next few weeks, I'll visit your studio to install the Audience Booster 9.0, one of our most advanced devices. Don't you worry about it. The equipment and installation fees are on us, and it runs on open source code that you may find if you take a look online. I can even provide you the URL so you may check it out. As proof that I'm not a scammer, I made a phone call, and you have some new fans. Still don't believe me? Send us an email at audience.booster at gmail.com and check for yourself. Have fun, Gaga, comma, L. 20 new fans. And our first black box, what? Cardmaster, uh, your first shipment has arrived as previously arranged. Oh yeah, that's why we agreed to this. Enjoy your boxes, just keep in mind that making cardboard belts is against the order's rules. A cardboard belt would be a waste of paper. Get it? Waste. May your glue dry ever true. All hail the card god. <laughs> Reply received. And we got a bunch of new cardboard box, which are gonna help us out with our Chroma Mechazord. Um, I might do that kind of maintenance off camera, unless you guys want to see all that uh, going back and forth kind of stuff. I think that, uh, I don't know, I find it a little boring um, from a, from like a Let's Play standpoint. It's not boring in-game, but you guys tell me. Tell, let me know. If you don't care either way, then it's fine. Um, that's going to wrap up the episode. Please give it a big thumbs up stamp of approval if you liked it. Share with your friends and please feel subscribed. Uh, feel- so inclined to subscribe if you so want to uh it's words can't say them today but like i said that's gonna do it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys right here on this channel peace